Anya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making a vegan date and walnut cheese. So for this recipe you're going to need a blender and I'm going to add, this is a mixture of um, coconut milk and rice milk. So you can use any plant milk that you like and I'm adding one and a half metric cups. So a metric cup is 250 ml. To that, I'm adding one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm also adding half a cup of hot boiled water. Two teaspoons of coarse Celtic sea salt. One tablespoon of agar agar powder. You can get agar agar powder at most Asian grocery stores or if you can't buy it locally, you can get it online as well. And I'm also adding two tablespoons of tapioca flour. And I'm also adding half a cup of walnuts. So these are whole walnuts and they're really good for your brain health, full of omega-3s. And if you actually look at them, they actually look like a little brain. Let's see if I can pull one back out. A coated, a flour coated brain. <laughs> Put that back in. Okay, and this is ready to blend. So give it a good blend, make sure everything is really smooth and creamy. Okay, so that's been blending for a good minute or two and it's now nice and incorporated, smooth. There's no chunky bits in there and it's ready for the next stage of the recipe. For the next part of the recipe, you're going to need a pot or a pan that you're going to heat this mixture up in. So I'm actually just using a flat nonstick um, fry pan just because it's easier to show on the camera what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just pouring this into the pan and then I need to bring this to a boil and then reduce the heat to a simmer and keep stirring the whole time until it's very, very thick and almost a glossy sort of look to it. Also for this recipe, you want to have five pitted dates that have been roughly chopped and also a third of a cup of walnuts that have been roughly chopped. And closer to the end of mixing this, these will be put in there and they will be the inside of our delicious date and walnut cheese. Okay, so this mixture has come to a boil. I'm just going to lower that temperature now. And I'm just going to keep stirring for a good five to ten minutes just to activate that agar. If you don't cook it long enough, your cheese won't set properly. And you do want it nice and firm so you can slice it at the end. So keep stirring. This is the hardest part of the recipe. Okay, so this has been going for about six minutes. And as you can see, it's become very smooth and silky. It's got a bit of a gloss to it now. So that has been cooking for about six minutes. And I'm just going to pour in my dates and walnuts now and give them a quick stir through as well. If they come out. <laughs> okay. Just make sure they're evenly spread through. Okay, and this is ready to go into some molds now. And what I'm using today is just two small spring form cake tins. And yeah, they're just really easy to set this cheese in and then open the mold once it's set. But you could use any small plastic containers that you have or shallow glass bowls work well as well. So it's up to you what you want to set these in or how big you want to make them. Even some silicon moulds would work well because you could just turn it out easily once they've gone hard in the fridge. Okay, this mixture is looking good, well combined and all up. It's been cooking for about eight minutes so this is definitely ready to go. I'll turn this off. Okay, so I want to work reasonably quickly here and get these into the moulds. Just try to flatten that top 
out a little bit. That's one done. And okay, so that's our two cheeses in their moulds and I'm now going to put these into the fridge for about at least half an hour um, until it sets you'll see that the top starts to firm up but if you can leave it longer for a few hours or even overnight all the better and I'm going to put these in now and show you what they look like shortly. Okay so these have been in the fridge for about 45 minutes and they've firmed up and cooled down so I'll take these out. Oops. Okay, that's looking good. Oops, just gently take the top off. Ah, and there we have it. A date and walnut cheese. A nice sweet sort of cheese to go with a nice um, fruit platter or just some crackers and some fruit around the side. I'm actually taking these to a picnic today, so I won't chop them up yet, but I will be taking them with a big fruit platter and some crackers. So that's a fantastic way to serve this. So it's just a nice variation on a traditional savory sort of cheese. And it's 100% vegan, plant-based. So your body will be happy, the animals will be happy. So if you wanna print this recipe, please go to my website at Cooking With Plants and check out my other recipes as well. I have plenty of cheese recipes and also vegan cheese sauce recipes. So check out the recipe, let me know what you think and I will see you for the next recipe. Bye for now.